uh, I'm a nutritionist and a food coach. Um, we'll be making apple crumble. Yeah, so this is a very healthy cooking system from Royal Prestige. Yeah, and um, we're also going to be making okra soup. So we're bringing in local here. Yeah? So we're going to be making okra soup. Yeah, then we'll do salad, avocado salad, just to um, for uh, for those who like eating salad. And salad is always good for the body. So as a side dish, so you cannot use really like it depending on the recipe. We're also making honey beans, plain honey beans. Yeah, show you how beans should be properly cooked. So I think people are becoming more health conscious, but a lot of people are still confused on what to do, and that's why uh, we as a company, yeah, we try as much as possible to put this out there, because if you want to stay, sustain a healthy lifestyle, it's something that has to be a life, as in you have to be used to it, it has to be a lifestyle. Animal protein, yeah, close to our veggies. So when we say animal protein, it can be fish, it can be chicken, it can be goat meat, whatever it is. So whatever, anytime you are prepping them, make sure that they are not close to the veggies. And if you are using a bowl, make sure you wash the bowl before using it for the veggies, just to avoid some people reacting, they might end up having food poisoning and all that. So we try as much as possible to either prep uh, prep them first, yeah, before going to prep the veggies. Like I said, chicken has a lot of oil in them, so you don't need you don't even need oil to use to fry chicken. Okay, so we're going to be showing you the amount of oil chicken has. So even when you take out the skin, there's still oil in them. So for you to eat um, a very healthy chicken, you don't need to fry it inside oil because it has enough oil. Chicken doesn't need its oil. They eat dry grains and at the end of the day, there's oil in them. So what it means is that you don't need to fry your chicken. You can use the oil in the chicken to fry the chicken. And you can also cook your chicken without using oil and water. Like that. The veggies, we didn't cut them in the market. Yeah, we put them down like this and wash them thoroughly before chopping them. Some people have issues, maybe because of health or why they are growing up, they are not used to something. They don't like eating some particular kind of food. There are some people that don't eat um, fish, especially this kind of fish. Yeah, we call it titles fish. Yeah. So, and some some people eat it, but they don't like it when it's when it's boiled. They like it when it's fried. So now I have to wash this. So, but if you have more than one bowl, you don't need to. Start washing, but it is also good whenever you cook, you are cleaning up because the more you are cooking, the more you are cleaning up, the more easier it is for you. But the moment you just let leave everything at once and you want to wash them at once, you know, the kitchen will be very messy. Okay. So then I can now go to my veggies. Yeah. So this is my spinach. Yeah. So this is actually my, this is already matured spinach. We have baby spinach. Baby spinach is very small like this, but this is matured one. So we are using this for our plain beans. Okay. So when you are doing smoothie, you can actually have this the seed because it also have, has its own health benefits. But because we are going to be doing um, we're doing um, we're using it in terms of veg for our plain beans, so we have to take out all the seeds there. So we added our salt into the veg so that it can you know to take out dirt. The moment you soak it with salt and leave it for a while, it will take out the dirt out of it. And sometimes worms and some things can hide in those veggies. So by the time you put the salt, it's going to bring them, chase them out. And then you can now wash thoroughly. So I'm going to leave this for like some minutes before I wash it. Basically, people can't, um, they can't do without eating, they can't do without eating, seeing their soup, especially local soup, in a very, looking, having that oil look. So without that oil, they won't want to eat the food. Yeah. So one of the things we try to do is that we do our own oil from the scratch. So that way, you can still have that same oil, the feel of oil that you like eating. Because most of the oil you have now are hydrogenated. They've been bleached. So it's at the moment we take them, it becomes fattening in our body. At the end of the day, it stores in places we can't see. One of the places is on our artery wall. It creates plug to build around our artery. So what we're doing is we're giving a very clean oil that is, that is low in fat. We need those oil, but not the processed one. So that's why we have to go through the process of making sure that we get our own oil and making our okra soup. Okay, so I'm about to make uh, to boil our pancane fruits without using water. So I'm literally using the water in the pancane fruit to cook the pancane fruit. Yeah. So you can see that there's no water there. So with a very low heat, to cover it. Voila. So that's we ready. So yeah. I, I want to fry this chicken to show you that chicken has oil to fry itself. If you want to cook, because chicken has water to cook itself, you cover it. Yeah? But if you want to fry, to have that golden fry, you crack the lid like this and it's frying. 
You can see the oil. Just imagine the amount of oil coming out from the chicken. Just three pieces. It's not even up to a lap of chicken, but look at the oil. Guess what? See the amount of water we have. So it's cooking the same time it's frying. So that, but now that I've closed it, it's not cooking. Consider that there's a difference between this and this. There's more heat here, but there's, there's heat at the top and beyond that. So it's cooking. Okay, so our pancan here is cooked now. So we're about to pound it in our piece too. For all our local soups, this is the process at which we achieve the oil in making this. So you're going to see how we're going to do that. Okay, so extracting the oil, the process of extracting the palm oil from the palm kernel is just by adding water and squeezing while the water is running. That's why my tap is running at very minimal <coughs> pressure because I don't want so much water in it. So water squeeze, water squeeze. This is my palm oil, mm -hmm. as you can see. This is our palm oil, so we are going to use it as a base, as water, because it has water and it has oil in it. So like, like normally when you want to cook your stock, you cook it, boil it with water, right? So this will start the process of water. You put a little bit of it. Because your palm we are using is not much, so you don't need to use the whole of the oil. Okay? So normally when you are making your stock, you put your, your fish, you know, people have varieties of different meats they put. So we are just using the chicken and stockfish, right? Then we had our yuru, yeah? We put everything inside. Wow, this is nice. So, so, I can perceive the aroma. Sorry, you can't perceive because you are not here, yeah? Though we are going to be having a guest who will be tasting this for us and to let us know how it tastes. Your crow that you've already chopped will stay until You see, pour it inside. So you can see the way it draws. So you don't need to start buying um, obono anymore. Okay? Then you stir for us to achieve that same look. Because people cannot eat food, local soup, without seeing that red look. So that's why we have to go through the process of doing the pancanium, using the pancanium. So for all our local soup, this is the process. So remember there is sea salt there, we don't need salt, yeah? So this taste, I'll turn it then we'll taste. Somebody else will have to taste to tell me, to tell us how it tastes. This is ready, our okra soup is ready. Yeah, so this is the palm oil. Yes, palm carne oil that we extracted. So we are using it to, for the for the onion beans as the sauce. We are making sauce, spinach, tomato sauce. Okay, so it's boiling with uh, Titus fish, yeah? So we'll just left, leave it for, for like five minutes to boil before we proceed. So this is actually a sauce for our honey beans. So what we did is we pieced the um, Titus fish into the um, uh, palm nut fruit, the juice we got out of it. So before we put our tomatoes and um, chili pepper and, uh, and ginger that have been shredded. So these are tomatoes, so we chopped it with ginger, garlic, and um, chili pepper. So we're going to pour it inside. And we stir. Please, can I get the all-purpose spice? So remember, we already have salt inside the spice, so you, don't, you wouldn't need salt anymore. So because it's sauce, we need it to have a bit of water. Tomatoes have water, but we still need it to, you know. So we had a bit of water, but let it just steam up a bit. A shredded Titus fish, so we'll leave it to steam up for, for some minutes. Then, before we had our spinach inside, so these are plain beans, plain onion beans. 
Yeah. So um, we're going to wash the beans now. Then we'll put it in our pressure cooker. Within 15 minutes, our beans will be ready. If you look at the potatoes, this is sweet potatoes and Irish potatoes. So what we did is we washed the back with our vegetable brush. We call it a vegetable brush. Yeah. So we wash the back of the potatoes. Yeah, because we don't want to take the nutrients. Because anything that grows under the soil, we call them tuber crop. Tuber crop, 50% of the natural medicine like beneath their skin. Immediately you take out the peel, we've taken out 50%. So that's why we left the back. The back is dead. So now if you look at these potatoes, it's not looking so yellow. Like especially if you look at this, um, the white potatoes now, it's not looking so yellow like how you want it. And this also, sometimes they even look white. So what you need to do, that's why we are using turmeric. Yeah, putting turmeric into it. Okay, so but if you want to, if, if you know you don't want it to stain your fingernails, you can use your hand gloves or you use spoons to stir. You're going to be using a spice to marinate the potatoes just to give it the taste. Yeah, so this is farm spice, it's all purple spice, so it's MSG free. So what we use is we use it to marinate. So we have cumin, coriander, basil, rosemary, ginger, castro seed, and um, a bit of sea salt inside the spice. So putting that now is going to give it its own natural taste. Okay, so we're going to put a little bit of it and stir. Okay, so now let's check if our uh, beans is ready. Wow, thank you. You can see, very soft. Permit me to taste. Our potatoes is ready with our very low heat. Right? I'll turn off the gas. Voila! You can see how yellow the potatoes is looking. Guess what? You know? So we have the white cabbage and we have the purple cabbage. Now what makes it much richer is the middle. Because anything that grows above the soil, 50% of the natural medicine lies in the middle, above the soil. So you the corn. The cuba has 99% water. So the more cucumber you eat, the more water, the more it keeps you hydrated. We are adding our coconut water. Just to also give it that juicy taste that we want. It's ready. Yummy. Okay, so I'm going to cover it. No, put it in the fridge. Very flavorsome, delicious, so nice, and very, very hot. It's so tasty. It has a sweet smell and a sweet taste too. Wow, it looks so green. Mm. Wow, guys, this tastes so good. It is hard to believe that we can achieve this taste with just natural seasoning like this, no MSG. So I'm sure that I'm having all of the nutrients in my food.